Hi everyone, we are just starting with latte, how to make it so everyone can benefit with this video. Yeah. So before I start, I wanted to give some tips before okay. you take the coffee. It's very important when you make the stem, because if you press it too hard, your coffee is going to be too strong. And if you don't press it properly, then your coffee or coffee is going to be very watery without any texture. So you have to make, it usually say if the pressure has to be 25 pound pressure, but uh, plus minus 5 pound. But anyway, that's the, you have to make sure there are no grind, everything is plain and proper. Okay, then before you start, one of the must tips I should give the barista, anytime you make coffee you have to do this, it's called purge. If you don't do purge, it's an uh, issue of health and safety, because if you don't do that, there will be the milk in the hole, it gets stuck, and when you make the next coffee, it just burst in your mouth. So it's going to be very careful about that. Okay, then you take it. Always using milk, never use any old milk. That's the first tips. Never use any old milk and always take cold milk. Never use temperature, the normal temperature milk or less than cold. Because when you heat it up, it makes a lot different. If it's not cold enough, it's gonna heat up faster. And if it's a cold, then it takes time and it's generally smooth out the whole milk. Okay? how much milk you should take for each coffee that's very vital as well usually it says that always milk has to be that much that's called spout you have to make the middle of the spout look the milk okay and as the espresso yeah there's the purge and make sure that when you make coffee instantly you clean it up you know why because if you don't close there is a small holes if you keep it longer without cleaning that gets stuck and is make the espresso difficult. Now making the milk, the most crucial and most important part. If, if there is any bubble in your milk, it's never be a good coffee. So you have to make sure that you break all the bubbles and you make the milk heat up eventually everywhere. You see it should start circling. If it starts circling, the milk, the milk that's mean the old milk are getting heated up properly. So you can tap a little bit that there is no bubbles. Then Just a little tap with the latte. Okay, so you have to make sure that there is no bubble on the coffee. If there is any bubble, then you couldn't make the latte milk properly. So the difference between the latte, flat white, and cappuccino is all about the milk. The latte has to be, they say that your uh, foam has to be 30 milliliter, yeah, on the top, like that much. And flat white is a little bit thinner than the latte, and cappuccino is obviously more, more frothy. So mm -hmm. you have to make, um, keep it in your mind, that you make latte and flat white with steamed milk, but cappuccino with froth milk. So there is a difference between steamed and froth. Just froth milk contain more uh, air and more bubbles. And these are called micro bubbles. There are bubbles, but you cannot see. It's very tiny. So that's where the skill comes. Okay. okay? So latte is complete. Latte eh? is complete. Thank you. Thank you.